Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. <sighs> Episode 22 was a big highlight for me in season two. I was about to pass out the whole time, couldn't breathe, goose bumps, got some tears in my eyeballs, the whole works. It just really hit me. Uh, loved Yamaguchi's big step up shining moment there. He was due. It needed to happen. I loved every single second of it. Um, but this Seijo Karasuno match is really going the distance. Um, I honestly cannot believe that we are closing in on the end of season two. I'm a little bit sad. I am sad because I want the whole series to last actually forever. So I'm sad about that, but I am very, very excited to see what's going to happen. We are heading into set three of, like I said, Seijo versus Karasuno, and this match is spicy. Okay, Yamaguchi stepped up. Mad Dog Chan made an appearance. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but both teams are playing so, so well, which makes it so much more enjoyable and so exciting. So Today, we are diving into season two, episode 23 of Haikyuu. And just by the title, I think I'm probably going to cry a lot because the title is Team. I'm already getting emotional thinking about it. I feel like this is going to be a heavy hitter. So I'm so excited to dive into this with you. So here we go. Season two, episode 23 of Haikyuu. Team. No comment from Mad Dog. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing already and I have a huge grin on my face. I'm so excited. <laughs> No more Shankasaurus for Mad Dog on that one. Dang it. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of a pickle jinx here. For those of you who don't know what pickle jinx is, it's something that I made up when I was 13 in club volleyball. And whenever I really wanted the other team to miss a serve, I would whisper pickle jinx just as they were about to hit it. And it worked a lot of the time. So much so that all these years later, I still secretly do it when I'm watching volleyball. So I might just give the pickle jinx energy to Waikawa right here, okay? Pickle jinx. 
It didn't work great, but they got it up. I'll take it. Ooh. Mm. Nice swing. wrong with them? What's happening? How's Asahi serving again already? Oh. That had a great curl to it, yikes. That's why it's 7-7. Seven, seven. grin on his face after he blocked him too. I love it. Love to see that. Oh, Suki's so smart, first of all, and I think Mad Dog is gonna start to get a little reckless because he just really wants to prove a point. So he wants to beat Tanaka because Tanaka is making him look silly on the block, just like hitting straight, hitting off his hands, and so like Mad Dog wants to get back at him, and so like now that Suki's messing with him too, I think that Mad Dog, my prediction is that Mad Dog is gonna start losing control and making very bad choices. Not that he doesn't do that already, but even worse than usual. Oh my gosh! Genie Sarah strikes again, okay? Ah. 
I have something to say. Does anybody, is it just me or is anybody else noticing the tiny smirks on Tsukushima's face whenever he, things are going his way? He got, he switched places with Tanaka on the block, got the stuff block, and as he landed, he kind of was like staring him down, smiling, and then the mad dog hit the ball out, and as it went out, you could kind of see a little grin on Suki's face. He knows how to press, we know that Suki knows how to press the buttons, but when he uses that emotional intelligence against another team, that is what I love to see. Look at the Mad Dog backstory today? Kunemi's back. Something I've been, they've been zooming in the camera on Yahaba a lot this episode so far, so I've been very curious what role he is going to play in this. I like that he called out Mad Dog because I'm sorry, you are, you're struggling. Do not pout on the bench, okay? Bad, bad teammate. But something is going to happen with him. Yeah, I don't know what. Hey, you 
のはまあ建て前だ。I like this a lot. I respect that so much. Okay, he spoke to Mad Dog in a way that he knew would get through to him. I don't know anything about Yahaba. I don't know his personality, if that's normal communication for him, whatever. But he addressed and treated Mad Dog in a way that Mad Dog would then respect him and value the words that he was saying. And like that for me, is what it means to be on a team. Like not everybody communicates in the same way. Not everybody has, you know, the same motivations or reasons for being there or wanting to give a full effort, etc. Like every single person on a team is different, but being able to understand those differences and like use them to come together as one is like, teamwork to the max that's volleyball to the max and so that interaction was so good yes good read oof beautiful that jump set He's going to be way better now. No. He's gonna score. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that swing was insane. I knew this would be a deep episode. <laughs> I'm not crying yet, shocker, but I think that that is so true. And especially in volleyball, because volleyball is one of the only sports where you can't, no one person can do things on their own. And so that connection between teammates is so necessary. And it's not even that you have to like the people you're playing with or be friends with everybody you're playing with. Like 
that is just unrealistic. You're not gonna get along with absolutely everyone. But like I said, if you can like find that like level, even playing ground of like, we are working towards this common goal together. We will hold each other accountable. Um, your team becomes almost like a mirror to you. And when you look at them, you see what they see in you. Um, so I feel like, yes, as somebody who is probably misunderstood as Mad Dog is or difficult to deal with for whatever reason, um, it can be very challenging to be on a team, especially a volleyball team. So that advice is like so perfect. And I have a huge smile on my face because I also dealt with things like that being like a super quiet person and um, being perceived as being standoffish or elitist or whatever. And it's not that at all. It's just that I'm like by nature, very, very quiet. Um, so that speech spoke to me a lot. And also that swing was probably the most insane swing of the whole season. So let's take note of that as well. Well done. Dear. Wow. That was a great dig. Oh, knocked him out. I'm not freaking out because some of you told me in the comments of previous episodes that this is actually going to 25 because I know I've been panicking in other sets when I thought it was going to 15. So thank you for telling me that because now I'm feeling much more relaxed because I was starting to get stressed and then I remembered. So, see? Hmm. 
前の打点はあとボール1個目先だ<笑>Yes, because he hit it second. That is the trick. I'm just gonna say, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are about why Oikawa is so good. And you guys know I hate him, but I, I will admit, he's very good. For me, he is so good A, because he's consistent, B, because he makes the players around him better, and C, because he is very, very good at making adjustments. And that adjustment piece is something we just saw with Kendaichi. So, Those three things for me are what make him the great king. I hate to call him that, but you know what I mean. Nice touch. <sighs> Don't set him out of his set, somebody else. to see a play that looks like it's going sideways and then it ends up working out. So I'm just gonna go with it. We'll take that point. Um, okay, so I did not get as weepy as I thought I would. I did not get weepy at all, but there were some really, really good lessons in that episode um, about team and things like that. I do, however, want to get a little deeper dive into Mad Dog's backstory. So hopefully that will be coming at some point, but We all knew it was happening. This set three is gonna go the distance. So my heart is racing like crazy for every single play. I really think this is gonna come down to the wire. Someone is gonna be heartbroken here, for sure. Both teams are playing such good volleyball. Um, so it's gonna be heartbreaking no matter what. I need to really prepare myself for this next episode. but we are finishing it off. I don't think there's anywhere further to go after this, unless this is similar of season one where I thought there was 24 episodes and there was 25. Who knows? I could be wrong. But um, you guys, we're almost there. So hit me up with your comments below. I love all your insights. And I mean, as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we are closing in. on the end of season two. So I'll see you next time for episode 24. Thanks guys.